Hey guys, today we're gonna fillet. I'm gonna show you how to make yellowtail snapper, mangrove snapper, and zero mackerel sashimi. So let's eat. Here are the fish that I caught and uh, the video is going to be all about a power ranking between sashimi of snapper and mackerel. Alright, the first fish is a little zero mackerel that we caught trolling. Let's make sure we get all that red meat out. And from there, uh, it's pretty much safe to eat. All right, next up, we got a yellowtail snapper. Now we have a mangrove snapper. All right, so here's our finished products. Here we have the mangrove snapper. Here we have all the yellowtail snapper. That is the schoolmaster. And that is the serum mackerel. Hey guys, so just like I said before, we're gonna do a little bit of a sushi review. I have three different kinds of fish here. One is mackerel, serum mackerel, which I've had for sashimi all the time before and I absolutely love. I catch a lot of mackerel here in New Jersey over the summer and I love them. But I've never had snapper sashimi before. So this is a first for me. I've gone through the liberty of cutting all them up. Let me show you. Yeah, here we have the zero mackerel. I love them. These are absolutely phenomenal. But here we have yellowtail snapper. I've never had this for sushi before. Here we have mango snapper. All right, let's get to it. The zero mackerel. We know which one that, I know, I've had this before and I love it. So I'm curious to see what Dan thinks. So Alright, so now let's grab one of these. We have some soy sauce and spicy mayo. Cheers. That is so good. Fire. That is so good. Fire? Fire. That's fire. We got a rating of fire. That's, that's pretty good. So yeah, let's try the yellowtail. Gotta get some of that mayo. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is phenomenal. <laughs> That's great. That's that's among the best two sherry. That's better than the other one. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It felt like I was something I would actually get a sushi restaurant. If not better. Sure. We have a lot of that. We're, we're gonna eat a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Sun roll is definitely better than this one. Better than the zero? Yeah. It's really good. It's really yeah, I, I gotta agree. Nice no, that's good. That's some high quality stuff. Yeah. It's very mild, like, especially with the mayo. The mayo gives it a good yeah. like, twist. Like it feels... I feel like you're at a restaurant. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. High quality. I'll just try the mango. That one is really good. It has definitely more texture than the yellowtail. It feels a little bit more solid, mm -hmm. but it still has like that really good flavor. I think it tastes like a steak. Like if you were to make a fish <laughs> into a steak, that's what it would be. The other steak? one's more of like a sushi. Yeah, that one yeah, had like fish steak. That one was like meaty, Like you can really taste it. I think that was the best one out of all three. All three? I think, I think in this order. So, one, two, three. So mangroves. And the yellowtail. And the yellowtail. Snapper. So snapper number one, snapper number two, first. Mackerel. Yeah. Mackerel's dead last. I think yellowtail was the highest quality. Like it uh -huh. tastes like it was the best like restaurant grade sushi. But this one was just so meaty. It tastes like a steak. It's yeah, like actually, high, high you know taste. what? I, I have to agree. I was kind of pulling from my local local mackerel. We don't get yellowtail in New Jersey, but I have to catch a lot of these when I'm down in Florida. And I'm limiting out. We're going for limits only. <laughs> Um, no, but seriously, they are so good. So yeah, thanks for coming along on this ride, and now we're, we're just gonna eat the rest and watch some of The Office. So there you go, guys. By consensus, the snapper was better. 
I was pulling for my, my macro, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. A few updates on my channel. First of all, I'm gonna stop recording with my, I have like a DSLR and I thought that would be good to make videos with, but it keeps getting out of focus. I had an old GoPro, but the quality wasn't so good. So it, I think it was the, the four or the five, but I'm selling it and I'm buying an eight. So that'll be fun. I also bought a drone. Hopefully we'll get some cool shots either from the beach or from the water of my boat. Next fishing trip is going to be March, probably. Uh, yeah, mid-March, unless I decide to go earlier. It's, I'm going to spend one week down in Isla Morada. Uh, hopefully the weather will be better. We can go a little bit further offshore, maybe to the humps, to some of the deeper wrecks, but we'll most certainly be fishing some more patch reefs. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Stay tuned, please subscribe. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully, be some cool stuff to come.